Hello, my name's Tom from B2 Squared, and today we're going to take a look at, at the Hive 2.0. I'm going to show you how to use the device and do a quick little review on personally how I feel about it. So first, let's get started. We'll unbox it. You get the device. You get a nice set of instructions, which is new. Um, you can, as finally certain, include some instructions in their device. You get the micro USB cable. You get the quartz atomizer. And you get a, a dab tool. <clears throat> so real quick, I'll show you a size comparison. The one on the left is the Hive 2.0. The one on the right is the original Hive. And we also have an Evolve Plus here as well. So the Hive is a lot smaller, a lot more compact, and it's definitely will be a lot e easier in your pocket than something as big. But as far as the difference with the Hive and the Hive 2.0, shape is a little bit different. Buttons are in the same place. Uh, the nice feature about the Hive 2.0 is you have three LED lights. Um, those are your temperature settings and your battery when you're charging it. So one light would be low temperature, uh, middle light, Two lights would be medium temperature, and then all three lights powered on would be the highest uh, temperature setting. And what it's actually doing, it's a uh, voltage change, so uh, that's how you'll get the higher temperatures. So real quick, they are magnetic connections. There are no threads. They just click right in, which is a nice, easy way to swap them out. This is the oil chamber. Um, you're going to have to use a thinner oil in this. You're not going to be able to use anything real thick or you're going to have issues with it uh, vaping uh, correctly and uh, burning the wick that's inside there. But it does have a magnetic base that you are going to have to unscrew to put on to the wax atomizer. And they just screw right on. If you don't put this magnetic base on, the device will flash three times uh, letting you know that there's an error. And we'll take a quick look at this coil. It is a single quartz coil with a ceramic chamber. The windings look good on it. Um, can't complain about that. So we'll just screw it back together. It does have, it's not a direct flow, it does have a uh, stopper in there to prevent spit back and things like that when you're smoking the device, which is nice. And it does have a clear screen here when you are using the oil chamber um, so you can see what level you are at. Now to turn on the device, you have to press it five times rapidly. One, two, three, four, five. Lights flash, letting you know it's on. That will also lock the device, pressing it five times rapidly. And when you press the button, as you can see right now, I only have two lights on, so that means I'm in the medium temperature setting. And in order to change your temperature settings, you press the button three times rapidly. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Now I got three, that's high. One, two, three. And you have to do it really quick. So one is low, two is medium. And three is high. So personally, on the go and something small, this, this device is great. Now, if you're sitting at your house and you want to use something like this, this is not what this device is intended for. This is more, you're going to go out for a little bit and you want to take some wax with you and be able to, to vape while you're out. It works great for that. You're not going to get any massive hits or anything like that. Um, but it, it does have a purpose. Uh, it's small, compact, throw it in your pocket and you're good. Uh, another nice feature about it is when you're charging it, these lights will light up letting you know where you are in your charge cycle. Uh, so one light would mean it's low, two lights would mean it's half full, and then three lights will let you know that it's completely full. Overall, it's a decent device, but like I said, it's not something that I personally would use every single day. If you need something small to take out with you, 
Uh, this is definitely a lot easier to carry than something like this personally. Um, I like the form factor of this a lot more than this. It just feels a little more natural in your pocket as versus carrying this around. Other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe and check in the description for 10% off your order at b2squared.com. But I'm Tom. Have a great day.